Salam, I suffer from complex trauma and my life is miserable. I am afraid that if I ask God and he solves my problems that I might become arrogant and forget about God at the same time. Um, my life is too miserable, bad enough to basically commit suicide. I can't live like that, but this hardship makes me remember God a lot. I'm afraid I might forget about God if all my problems are solved. How do I not forget God? How do I keep God in my life even without hardships like mine? Um, no, don't stay in misery, just the, uh, don't, don't, the, that, um, it, I, I mean, I assure you that even if God solves all your problems, if God knows that you, knows that you, God knows your heart, and if you start to drift away from God, I, I can tell you with absolute confidence, God will send a hardship or two your way to bring you back. Um, so, you know, it, don't worry about that. Um, and if, in fact, your problems are resolved, um, then you set, you know, it, you, it's as simple as if you, let's say right now, because in your hardship, you pray X amount of sunnah, you commit yourself, you promise yourself that regardless of what happens in your life, you're going to continue to pray X amount of sunnah, that you're not going to, that if things are better, you're not going to start praying less. Uh, and that usually will keep the reminder that that I've committed myself because things were much worse. But if listen, I mean, if you're talking about things are so miserable that you you can't, uh, um, no, you should pray for of to, to Allah to alleviate your hardship and your pain. Um, and the that level of misery is is not healthy in your relationship with Allah. I mean, Allah doesn't want us to come to Allah as broken human beings. Allah wants us to come and thrive in Allah. In, in other words, the best relationship with Allah is that when you are with Allah and you are happy because you are with Allah, not you are with Allah because you're so miserable that you need to cling on. There's nothing wrong with that, but it is not, it is not what we strive for. What we strive for is to be fully healthy, fully liberated, fully, fully caught, ethical, fully moral, and with Allah. And that's the real strength of faith. You know, it's easy to be on the crashing plane and to beg and plead with God and then say, oh, I'm close to God. No, it's, it's much better when you can actually arrive safely to your destiny and still remember God every step you take. Um, and that's just a matter of habit. A lot of times people who've led very miserable lives, um, they can't imagine how it could be that they have a relationship with God if they're not miserable. But if, you're in, if you work on your Iman and your Iman is strong, you will have a relationship with God even if you're not miserable. It's just that the nature of that relationship will become different. Um, it just becomes different, you know, it just has a very different taste to it. But, you know, I, I, when you say something like that, I can't help but, you know, think, feel like I want to pray to Allah to, to alleviate your suffering. Uh, because no human being should feel like, you know, I'm to the point that I, I want to commit suicide. Um, that's not what, what Allah wants from us. 
inshallah may, may Allah make everything easier um, Ya Rabb, may Allah make everything easier upon you and upon all of us, inshallah. inshallah.